After much prayer and months of careful thought, I've decided that next season, season 25, will be the last season of The Oprah Winfrey Show. The following is an edited video version of a highly thought-provoking article written by Dr. Grace Vuoto. Dr. Grace is the executive director of the Edmund Burke Institute for American Renewal in Washington, D.C. Dr. Grace's article is about the subject of the Oprah Revolution. Dr. Grace writes, After 25 years on the airwaves, America's richest and most influential talk show personality ended her popular daily show. On May 25th, the Oprah Winfrey Show aired its last episode, amid much celebrity and media fanfare. In the meantime, the Oprah revolution is complete. America will have to deal with the consequences of her influence for decades to come. Let us first give Oprah her due, Dr. Grace says. This remarkable girl, born from a teenage single mother in rural Mississippi, rose from poverty and abuse to become rich, powerful, successful, and one of the most impactful cultural figures of the last two decades. For millions, Oprah is a modern-day priestess. She sets the standard for how to think, how to live, and what to read. For over two decades, Oprah has had her finger on the pulse of the American public. To be on Oprah has meant to appear in the nation's public square, an instant topic of conversation from coast to coast. But sadly, Oprah Winfrey is also one of the most destructive American cultural figures. Her goal has been to dismantle middle-class Christian morality, which played a key role in making this nation strong, productive, and great. The Oprah Winfrey Show systematically, deliberately, and consistently sought to destroy four pillars of the Judeo-Christian beliefs and character. Foremost among these is the notion that a society ought to have taboos, topics that are not discussed, even though there is free speech, because by addressing these taboo topics, the behaviors become invariably accepted and widespread. Oprah sought to break taboos on sexual matters, thus spearheading and accelerating the sexual revolution. She gave gays, lesbians, bisexuals, and transgendered Americans a regular platform and acceptance. The implicit message of the show was that Americans should not judge others for their sexual practices, regardless of what these practices are. Oprah advanced the nation's descent into perversity. In addition, Oprah showcased the victim. The show destroyed the Anglo-American concept of the stiff upper lip, that is, the idea that pain has to be borne with grace and dignity. The Oprah Winfrey Show led to the notion that displaying emotion in public and being introspective is healthy. Contemporary America has been Oprahfied. Cry, look inside, cry, and look inside some more. The ultimate pathetic focus on the self that leads to self-pity and paralysis. Also, Dr. Gray says, the Oprah Winfrey Show advanced the idea that true compassion consists of not judging. Thou shalt not judge. The first liberal commandment was a hallmark of many Oprah episodes. Oprah Winfrey was ultimately the champion of a society full of moral equivocation. And last but not least, Oprah endorsed spirituality without organized religion. She was hailed by Christianity Today as an icon of church-free spirituality. Oprah's brand of spirituality became another means of self-indulgence. Oprah's style of living with purpose is therefore a mishmash of being socially conscious, sexually liberated, introspective, morally equivalent, and spiritual, but without regular church attendance. To compensate for the emptiness of this lifestyle, Oprah recommends daily gratitude and philanthropy. In other words, Oprah makes it up as she goes along. In short, Dr. Gray says, Oprah Winfrey helped smash the Judeo-Christian guiding beliefs and character that once sustained this nation without being able to erect a suitable replacement. She holds a place in our society once reserved for moral leaders who were wise, learned, and paragons of virtue. Yet she is neither wise, nor learned, or exceptionally virtuous. Oprah's America is therefore now as confused and incoherent as she is.